Hey guys, and welcome back to the multi-dimensional journey. This is your host, Ayahuasca Carr, and welcome back. If you are liking what you're seeing on this channel, do not forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification button. And today we are talking about complex PTSD and one of the components that really makes it difficult to recover from. Probably two of the things that really makes complex PTSD really difficult to mentally, emotionally, and physically recover from is learned powerlessness and learned helplessness. And really this goes on for a long period of time in abusive situation and more specifically where there's no escapable means. So the person feels trapped. And oftentimes this happens in childhood where there's an abusive parental figure or something's going on and the child absolutely feels helpless and powerless. Um, and in, in various different ways, they feel powerless over their physical capabilities, their verbal capabilities, their ability to express themselves, their ability to get their needs met, um, different power dynamics at play. And when it comes to recovery from this, it's really important to recognize that this happened and that this is this is kind of running in the background in a lot of things. And I think this is where, unfortunately, um, this word called victim mentality comes from. I think it's just a way that people have kind of come together and um, learned how to say this because really it's 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 a survival trait mentality and someone just hasn't learned a different way yet. So I think we can have some more empathetic language around that. Um, and then so if you're a coach, you know, who's trauma informed, if you're a mental health professional, if you're a shaman, if you're a person who works with meditation, anyone who's working around deeper work with people, doesn't matter in what capacity, it's really important to just understand this concept of sometimes when you hear somebody's narrative and it sounds like, you know, they just don't have any agency over their life, try taking the person deeper. Try asking questions around that. Try to slowly take that person into that narrative rather than avoiding it or discounting it, which in my opinion only makes it worse. And you can even do this with yourself. You know, if you notice that you physically, mentally, and emotionally feel powerless, you know, you don't feel any or see any other way, a simple exercise is just to go into that part of yourself and you can do this by writing it down. You know, where did I learn this trait? And who did I learn it from? And how did it serve me at what point in my life? And how can I begin to take different steps? And, and if you look at my podcast, I'll leave a link below. One of the best things you can do is begin to build the inner child and reparenting relationship. So you don't do what's called a, a self-abandonment. And I think this is the result of the powerlessness and the helplessness. We often just give up because um, that's what we had to do to survive. As adults, I think it's we're then now abandoning the inner child. And what we need to do is actually listen to the inner child and begin to talk to it in a different way. That's why we call it reparenting because the first parenting we got didn't work. You know, in some way... It wasn't good enough parenting, um, as Pete Walker calls it, um, which most quote unquote, you know, people who thrive got or received. And so, um, but this obviously, this exercise can work for anybody, no matter where you fall on the spectrum of, you know, symptoms or suffering, or um, even if you're, you're thriving in life, this still can um People even who thrive really well in life, sometimes they're not connected to their heart space. So I think even the inner child and reparenting dialogue can really help someone connect them back to their heart space or source or your spirituality or your divinity, whatever you want to call that. Um, so I'll leave a link down below for my podcast for the inner child and reparenting. And yeah, so just do a simple exercise where when you begin to feel powerless and hopeless, 
you know, sit down and write about it and try to identify where did you learn this experience from and how can you begin to talk to yourself to kind of pull you out of that rather than fully collapsing into it. And of course, this takes time. Um, I'll be posting more videos to help you with this. Um, so I hope you guys like this video and uh, thank you so much for listening. This has been Ayahuasca Car with the Multi.